Hello everyone, myself Dr. Ashulata Kevya. In this session, we are going to discuss some more problems on maxima and minima. Find the extreme value of the function f of x comma y equal to e to the power of minus of x squared plus y squared. Consider the given function and differentiate this partially with respect to x and y and we will find out the stationary point. So after differentiating partially with respect to x and y and equate that to 0, we are going to get the stationary points as 0 comma 0. Now find out the second order derivative for this function that is r, s and t. Differentiate fx partially with respect to x again Go for the product rule and simplify you are going to get minus 2 e power minus x square plus y square into 1 minus 2x square find out s and t now find out the values of r s t at the point 0 comma 0 again find the value of r t minus s square so it is plus 4 that means it is greater than 0 whereas r value is minus 2 which is less than 0 thus the function has maximum value at the stationary point 0 comma 0 now we'll find out the maximum value by substituting the stationary point in the given function so that is nothing but e power minus of 0 plus 0 a power 0 it's nothing but 1 Next problem, examine the function f of x comma y equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3xy for maximum and minimum values. Follow the same procedure as we did previously. Find out the partial derivative, equate that to 0. So you got x square minus y equal to 0 as equation 1, y square minus x equal to 0 as equation 2. So by solving equation 1 and 2, we have to find out the stationary point. So from equation 1, we have y equal to x square. Now substitute this value in equation 2. That will be x to the power of 4 minus x equal to 0. Now take x common from these two terms. It is x into x cube minus 1 equal to 0. Now either equate x equal to 0 or x cube minus 1 equal to 0. If I equate x equal to 0 that will be the 1 point and x cube minus 1 consider the real value so that is x equal to 1. So when x equal to 0 the value of y is also equal to 0. Similarly when x equal to 1 the value of y is equal to 1. So therefore we got two stationary points that is 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. Now we will find out the second order partial derivative and evaluate the values r, s, t as well as r, t minus s square. So these are the second order partial derivative r value is 6x, s value is minus 3 and t value is 6y. r, t minus x square value is 36xy minus 9. Now the first stationary point is 0 comma 0. So the value of r at the stationary point 0 comma 0 is 0. And s value is minus 3, t value is 0. So rt minus s square value is minus 9. So that is rt minus s square is less than 0. So therefore at the stationary point 0 comma 0 the function has saddle point. So next the stationary point is 1 comma 0 and the corresponding values are like this rt minus s square value is greater than 0 now observe r value so that is also greater than 0 therefore the function has minimum point at the stationary point 1 comma 1 so now we will find out the minimum value at 1 comma 1 by substituting the value of x is 1 and y is 1 in the given function what is the given function here so after substituting the values of x and 1 y we are going to get the minimum value as minus 1 
next problem find the extreme value of x cube plus y cube minus 63 x minus 63 y plus 12 x y so find out the stationary point by equating the partial derivatives to 0 okay so you got the equation 1 and equation 2 now subtract equation 2 from 1 so you are going to get x square minus y square minus 4x plus 4y equal to 0. Now simplify this. Take x minus y common. So x square minus y square can be written as a minus b into a plus b formula. So you are going to get x minus y as common. So you will have x minus y into x plus y minus 4 equal to 0. So either y equal to x or y equal to 4 minus x. Now substitute y equal to x in equation 1. Okay, so you got the value of x as x equal to minus 7 and x equal to 3. So when x equal to minus 7, the value of y is also equal to minus 7. And when x equal to 3, the value of y is also equal to 3. Therefore, the stationary points are minus 7 comma minus 7 and 3 comma 3. Next, substitute y equal to 4 minus x that we got here y equal to 4 minus x in equation 1. So, you will get a quadratic equation. After solving the quadratic equation, the value of x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 5. Now, when x equal to minus 1, the value of y is 5. And when x equal to 5, the value of y is minus 1. So, therefore, the stationary points are minus 1 comma 5 and 5 comma 1. So, totally we got the stationary points as minus 7, minus 7, 3 comma 3, minus 1 comma 5 and 5 comma minus 1. So, now we will find out the second order partial derivative and its corresponding values at the stationary points. So, go through the table for the stationary point minus 7 comma minus 7 so you got rt minus s square greater than 0 and r is less than 0 therefore at this point the function has maximum value so at 3 comma 3 rt minus s square value is greater than 0 again r is also greater than 0 therefore the point has minimum for this stationary point so, rt minus s square is less than 0. Therefore, the function has saddle point at this stationary point. For phi comma minus 1 also, the function has saddle point. So, we will find out the maximum value and minimum value. So, maximum value at minus 7 comma 7 is given by 784 and minimum value at 3 comma 3 is given by minus 216. 216. So here is one more problem. So follow the same procedure as we did in say previous problem. And this is this table and we are having maximum value at the point stationary point 4 comma 0 and minimum at the point 6 comma 0. 